Right in the middle of a gorgeous Portuguese city, we found the alluring little house of the Valero family. The woman that lived here, Mrs. Lydia, became a widow at a very young age. Her man died in a work-related accident and she was left behind with the two children and had to bring them up herself. In a quest for better job opportunities, her children immigrated to France and Mrs. Lydia was left alone in this place for the last years of her life. At a certain age, Mrs. Lydia died of natural causes and it seemed like her children never came back to reclaim the memories and items inside of this place. Now, years after its abandonment, we came back to the house to film it and bring you the history of Mrs. Lydia. But unfortunately, when we got inside of the place, we saw that it was completely vandalized and me and Danny made a split-second decision right there. We decided to restore the place to its former glory. Welcome back everybody to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie and today with me is Danny behind the camera. Check him out, he's exploring this place with me. But as you just saw on the time lapse, we found a place that was trashed and I was just devastated when I came inside of this place. I didn't feel well, uh, I'm gonna show you. I just wanted to show everything. I'm, I'm sunburned. As you can see, I'm a little bit sick and I decided to sit down on the chair that was here. We already cleaned that. And I was looking at the closet over there that was completely, yeah, just trashed. The everything, the drawers taken out, and I just thought to myself, I want to bring it back to its former glory. The woman that lived here, she didn't live like this, and I want to bring it back to respect and uh, to give her a last ode of her life. So I just started to clean it. Then he came downstairs, and he was just said, "Oh, this is a great idea. Let's just help you." And now we had just decided. To clean the whole place, place everything back how we think the woman lived here and uh, as you can see we have already started with the dining room. It's almost clean and we're going to do most parts of the house. We unfortunately can't do everything because it's going to take forever and some parts are just decayed but uh, we're going to do our best to bring it back to the former glory and we're going to take you in this process with us. So let's start cleaning. I'm really excited for it and uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, we just totally repaired this room. As you can see, we placed the table back, everything. I'm gonna show it later in detail, but first we wanna go upstairs because there are still a few rooms that we wanna repair before we start the overview of the place and the story in detail. There's a chest, somebody literally threw a chest down the stairs. That's just crazy. Let's go up here. Okay. This bedroom we're wandering into 
also has been moved and replaced and stuff like that. So we're gonna try to uh, fix it up a little bit before we start the video. And you can see here, this was the woman together with her son. Wow, okay, let's start. That was heavy, right? That was heavy work, yeah. You can see the sweat on my face of cleaning this place. We're ready right now. We have not cleaned every single room, but we, yeah. we feel like we cleaned the most important parts. I'm not gonna show you the place and tell you a little bit more in depth about the history. And uh, yeah, just let's go uh, and let's film this place. Let's start off. This is the entrance hall of the place. Here you would come in. The house is in the middle of a city, a very big city actually, and uh, we're gonna start off over here in the kitchen. There are a few fridges left behind. We didn't feel like cleaning the kitchen because it's not trashed or anything. It's just uh, decayed over time. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the history as well. The woman that lived here was Lydia. She also had a man, but he died at a very young age. So she was more a widow for actually the most part of her life. She also had a few children that he lived here as well, but they moved out to study in France and afterwards they decided to stay in France because job opportunity over there is much better than here in Portugal. As you can see, this is a very traditional kitchen. Everything is left behind in here. Wow. This, Danny, is it a bread oven? Yeah, it's the... Arch. It's open. Yeah, wanna open it? Look at that, you could make bread and pizza and stuff like that in there. And then we have the exhauster here above us. This is very typical for Portugal. And they always hang a curtain at the exhauster. So typical. Wow. Over here we have a few calendars and stuff like that. And another fridge. Mrs. Lydia was a very religious person. We're gonna see it throughout the video. But she also attended church very much. She helped in church, she helped with charity. She was a very good person. And people around the town loved her. People cared about her. And even people cared about the house after she died. Around 20 years ago. But that has expired. And the house got abandoned more and more, decayed more and more, like we can see. And after some time, nobody cared about it anymore. And then it got trashed. But then we came in, me and Danny, and saved the place. Okay, let's go further. Oh wow, we have the hallway over here. And we can literally see one of her children. This is a girl, beautiful girl. Oh, here she's again. Wait, let me just see if I can bring it in the picture really good. Is she sitting somewhere? I don't know where it is. Very nice. And this is the bar. She also had a bar inside of her house for people to come in, get some drinks. There would be lots of glasses. And in here, the liquors would be stored. They're all gone. Wow, I see a child's picture over here. Look at that. Beautiful to see. This room we also didn't feel like cleaning because it's more decay than trash. It's too much decay. It's too much decay, yes. You see over there on the floor, it's completely crumbling apart. And then in one of my favorite rooms of the house, we did lots of cleaning. 
this is, we call this place, as you can see from the painting up here, the crying baby house. Because you can see this painting of this young boy or baby crying. It's just a very sad painting actually. Wow. The cabinet over here, completely untouched. All the faces in there. Wow. Just have a look at the decay inside of this place. We found calendars inside of this place from 2017. But me and Danny were discussing, this is not abandoned for three years. That's, that's not possible. It's literally impossible. It's literally impossible. Look at the wall. It's like literally coming off. As you can see, there's a hole between those both walls. It's, it's not possible. It's at least abandoned for around 20 years right now. See the fireplace here, where she warmed herself in winter. Because it's not really that cold here in Portugal. And then we get a glimpse into her bedroom. Let's walk in. I don't know if it was her bedroom. Maybe it could also have been a bedroom of one of the children. But let's, let's have a look at it. Lots of religious artifacts, like I told you. These people that lived here and the people in Portugal in general are very religious. I don't know why, but there are calendars of 2016 inside of this real house, and that's just not possible. I have no explanation for it. I just don't. This is the bed. Okay, one half. Can you open this door for me, Danny? It's completely stuck. No, leave it, leave it. Yeah. Be careful with the floor in there. Yes, I will. Lots of religious artifacts over here on the bed as well. I'm gonna quickly walk over it so you can see all of it left behind. And this is our Lydia with our beloved husband before he passed away. A picture of them together. Wow. Here's a calendar of 2009. That's so strange. Look at them. This is Lydia and her husband, again together. Beautiful to see. Back into the dining room. And this is one of my favorite, yeah, tables. When I just saw this table in the corner over there with all the stuff on it, that just broke my heart. And these chairs around it, they are just so magnificently up Pearl Street. Look at the chairs around this table. You have to agree with me. These are one of the most beautiful chairs that you have ever seen. And they were just trashed and thrown around in this room. We even have some pictures over here on the table of Lydia and her husband who got married. The glasses of them, family pictures. It's just beautiful. Now we have another cabinet over here. I placed all the plants above it and I thought that this little statue was appropriate over here. You can see we completely restored this cabinet, placed all the liquors that they had back on it. Wow. I really like how it turned out. Do you? It's really, it's really pretty. It's even better than the last time. Yeah. I like it. I really like it. Wow. And this one is the one I started out with when I was sitting over the chair, was in the corner there. And I just saw this cabinet with all the drawers out of it. I just started. It's, it's so pretty. She also did some sort of, oh, it's, what's this called? I don't know, but it's probably a hobby or something like this. I don't know, it's like knitting, but it's not knitting. It's so symmetrical. Yeah. So satisfying, actually. Wow, it looks like a face if you look. See, yeah. two eyes, a mouth. Yeah, that's probably what it resembles. And there's another one over here. Yeah, there's a lot of those in this house. Wow. They are really beautiful. Lydia, you are a true artist. Let's head upstairs now and see what's left over there. Okay, let's go up here. You can see there's a face left behind over here. And you just saw that the, yeah, that, that the chest was thrown here. Me and Daniel placed it back upstairs. I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. It's beautiful. Okay. 
I just need to take back my words because I think um, Lydia used to sleep upstairs here and moved her bedroom downstairs because she got too old. At the age of seven, uh, 80 years old, excuse me, Lydia passed away. Ah, this calendar look, looks, looks more like it. See, it's from 1998. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's probably, that's the, date probably that, the, the date the date that this place got abandoned. Yeah. And the other calendars that just have been put in here, that, that's no yeah. other possibility. I really think Lydia would be proud when seeing this place restored to its former glory. She really would be proud if she could see this. Wow. I'm proud. <laughs> I'm literally stunned by my own and Daniel's work. <laughs> yeah. it's, no, it's, good. it's just good. It's just, it, it gives us it, such a good feeling, right? It, it feels right. It feels yeah. like this is the way yeah. this place should be. Lots of people tell us, or the rule in Urbex is like, leave places how you find them. But this is not how Lydia left the place behind, literally not. This is not how she left it behind. No. This is how she left it behind. Yeah. This is literally how she left it behind, yeah. in my opinion. Okay, let's go through this. Here we have the chest that we pulled upstairs. It's like an Asian antique chest, beautifully designed, marble on top of it. It's just a magnificent chest, in my opinion. Wow. Oh, here's the picture again with her and her son together. Here you can see a picture from Paris where the children moved to probably. More things of parents. Yeah, the children probably moved to Paris. We have a few records on the chair over here of our favorite music. These plushies over here were probably the plushies of the children when they were younger. All left behind in this place. Forgotten. Time to take over. Ah, we can see another one of her artworks. Oh. What, Wait, what does it say? Uh, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. the children made this for her. I think so. Oh, it wow. It really says Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Amazing. What a beautiful piece. I'm not gonna film this room, but I wanna give you a quick overview. There are lots of chests in here. And then we have the nightstand and the beautiful bed next to it. Wow. Wanna help me out, Danny? This is like the photo album over here. Let's see what kind of pictures we can find inside of there. Oh, family pictures of them having dinner. Wow. Oh, wow. This was a wedding. A wedding of, of Lydia, maybe? No, no I, don't. I don't think so. I no. don't think so either. I think they attended. Can you I turn these around? This is the sun. Oh, this is the girl we saw downstairs. Yeah. What a these beautiful. Are the sons playing. Oh, this is the house. Yeah. This oh my gosh. This is literally the house we are in. You see the sofa? Yeah. Look at the sofa. It's the same one. It's literally the same one. Wow. No way. They all, it's literally the same one as in the picture. Oh. Oh, okay. The same. children in the army. Army duty was probably back then mandatory. Yeah, yeah it was mandatory. In Belgium as well, where I yeah. live. You had to go one year to the army until a certain time. I don't know which exactly, but uh, you had to one, go one year to the army. I don't know what time is I'm not going, going to view all the pictures, but those are some incredible memories. Daniel is going to look through them even more. <laughs> we have the bed over here of Lydia with her shoes in front of it. And look over here. The walls are completely decaying. A vanity. She really loved Chinese artworks or Chinese antiques. You can see this, or Asian, I should say. Uh, they're not exactly all Chinese. Not every China, uh, Asian artwork is a Chinese artwork. Wow. I'm gonna open this one, see if there are any clothes of her left behind. No, this is empty. No. 
Does this also say something about mother? My? My mother. Mother? Every... No, all the girls that I... that I have... What? What writing is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Portuguese or something no, like that. No, it's Portuguese, but it's just saying like, it's the daughter that gave this to the uh, mother to say that she loves her. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Like that. That's beautiful. Because they only had their mother left and they were probably really... Yeah. Get, they cared for her. Just the mother. Yeah, just the mother alone. That's it's devastating. So yeah. We have this incredibly carved chest over here. And Daniel just told me that he literally has the same <laughs> chest as her at home in yeah. this room. And I think I saw it. I slept a few days at his home, as, at, at his home here in Portugal. And I think I saw it. It's, this same it's exactly. literally the same. Portuguese people have antiques yeah. inside of their house. There's one last bedroom I want to show. And that's this one over here, probably one of the children's bedrooms, because there are lots of toys left behind in here. Let's start off here, to the side. We have another one of those beautiful chests. And we have this Spanish dancer on, our, on here. Look at her. Wow. A Torres, that's, that's like the... Torades. Torades. Uh, it's a Portuguese Spanish thing. Yeah, like it's very know. controversial nowadays. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it as well, do you? Yeah. No, of course not. No, I, that was not the question, I knew you didn't yeah. like it. <laughs> Killing animals is, uh, for fun is not a thing you should do. You have another one of those artworks. <sighs> See the plushie, teddy bear on the bed. We made the bed again. <laughs> my mother always asks me to make my bed, and when I go exploring, I was like, literally like making a bed. <laughs> I'm always to my mother, why do I have to make my bed if I'm going to sleep in it tonight? <laughs> Same. <laughs> Same. Wow, even more artworks here. A nightstand down there. Oh, Danny just pointed out something to me. This is like a police hat. Maybe the man was a policeman of I, some sort. I think it was one of her sons. Her son was a policeman. I don't know if this is exactly the, the head of the policeman. It's more of... Wait, let me, let me check. It says Sporto in there. Yeah. No, this is the brand. Oh, wait. Uh, no, no, this is the uh, military. You, it was uh, like military, a yeah. It was like a military guy. A few more religious artifacts, as we could expect. And this is one of the other chairs we saw in the pictures. Wow, amazing. What a magnificent home when cleaned. When I first came in here, I literally thought, I'm not gonna film this, I don't feel well. But now I'm really glad we cleaned it and I we made something really beautiful. Me too. I. It doesn't feel the same. It's this literally gives me joy. I'm, I'm literally satisfied and happy right now. Yeah, I think Even though I'm completely broken, you can see the sweat on my face but this just gives me joy, it gave me joy. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Too. For the last shot of the video, I wanna show you this balcony with the woman standing on there. This is Lydia probably. Yeah. yeah. But if you look outside, this is literally the same balcony. Wow. Okay, I'm tired as hell. I'm gonna sit down over here and we're gonna finish this video over here. What a fantastic place, right? Lydia, she was a beautiful woman and we gave some respect back to her life. I wanna thank Danny in this video for helping me out with cleaning the place. Please go down there in the description, check out his channel. He's a Portuguese explorer. He knows more than me and he has the best places in Portugal. Literally, just go down there. I want him to have 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I said to him, we're gonna make it happen and we will do so. Thank so, <laughs> uh, if you liked the video, please like uh, the video so more people can see it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this content. Let me know down in the description if you like this cleaning the house. If you did not, did not like it, also let me know so I know if you need to do more of these. And there will also be a link in the description to Patreon there. You can support the channel. It's a lot of stuff, guys, I know. But with that, you help us explore around the world. We are just students and this helps us out. Thank you very much and I will see you next week in another epic exploration. Bye bye. Love you.